after the last video, which had these uh, coasters in them, uh, I thought I'd talk about how I ended up making these coasters and show you the process, which is pretty simple. Uh, so a while ago, I was at the lumber yard and they had this wood called Kentucky Coffee Bean. And I thought, oh, it'd be kind of cool to make coffee table out of coffee wood. So then I thought it would be funny to make a coffee table out of coffee wood that has coffee beans in it. So I did that, but the problem is it turned out like crap. I have a video for it, but it this came out so bad that I don't even know if I want to want to bother making it. Um, the the epoxy is is looks milky, but it's not milky. It's just all these tiny bubbles that formed during the epoxy, and it's not even that thick of a pour. Um, and I made these half lap legs, which are not sturdy. Not very sturdy at all. They're attached with threaded inserts and a washer and a bolt. Um, so anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made these coasters and embedded coffee beans in them. And I just had plenty of scrap wood left over from this table that I decided to to make these at the same time. And it was also the first time I was had poured epoxy, um, so I wanted to practice on something. So I decided the coasters would give me a good practice run. These still have some bubbles in it, um, but not nearly as much as the copy table. So, here we go. I started out by gluing up some of the off cuts. The coasters will be four inches by four inches, so I'll need to make an 18 inch long strip to account for the blade width as well as give myself some wiggle room when cutting. After the glue dried, I took it over the thickness planer to flatten everything out. I'm planning on a final thickness of about 3 eighths of an inch. Then over at the table saw, I squared up both ends using a miter gauge. I don't show it, but I also ripped the piece down into two equal width strips. I covered a section of plywood with Tyvek tape. Then I cut two sections of plexiglass for each end and glued them in place with a hot glue gun. Then I hot glued down the length of each strip to lock them in place and to create a seal. I made sure that all the corners are sealed it's very important that there aren't any gaps, otherwise the epoxy will leak out. Here, I'm mixing the resin and the hardener. I should have read the instructions. If I had read them, I would have known that this epoxy is mixed by volume instead of weight. But here I am, measuring by weight. Also, make sure you wear gloves when doing this. It's not fun trying to get the mixture off your hands. Then you're gonna wanna mix until your arm feels like it's gonna fall off. And finally pour it into the mold. When it started to bubble, I went over it with a torch a couple times to pop all the bubbles. Removing everything involved a utility knife to cut away the hot glue and a chisel to pry it off of plywood. and then it's back over the table saw to cut it into sections in an unsafe manner. I should have definitely used a stop lock here so the piece didn't kick back. Yeah, 
I used a combination of the disc sander and the belt sander to remove all the excess epoxy. If you value your lungs, definitely wear a mask while doing this. In fact, you probably want to wear a mask anytime you're working with epoxy. I did some sanding with 220 grit using my random orbital sander. Then I wet sanded with 400 grit. I eventually went up to 2000 grit with wet sanding, but didn't record it. I got impatient, and then I just bought some car polish to hand buff them. And I'm pretty happy with the way they turned out, considering it was my first epoxy pour. To finish up, I hit him with a few coats of spray lacquer and called it a day. These look pretty cool, but next time I go with a higher quality epoxy such as Total Boat or MAS. If you're still watching at this point, let me know in the comments down below if you want me to put out the video of the coffee table build. Thanks for watching, don't forget to check out the links in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.